Hi everybody, and thank you so much for tuning in today, and welcome to the home of all things FIFA Career Mode. If you are new to the channel and you do go on to enjoy this video, you may as well hit that subscribe button. Now if you're thinking of starting a new FIFA 21 Career Mode, but you need some inspiration on what team to use, then this is the video for you. Now I love a French Career Mode, especially with the TV broadcast package, and saint Etienne have a transfer budget of 11.25 million. They play with a default formation of 4-2-3-1 wide, and they have a very good blend of experience and youth. Looking at the current squad in more detail, and the first player of note is Retsos, who's on loan at saint Etienne with a real face and a potential of 81. Centre-back Makudi has an overall of 71 and a potential of 80. Centre-back Kalod Ziak has an overall of 74 with a game face. Matteo Debuti retiring at the end of the season also with a real face. One of my favourite youngsters in FIFA 21 is Lucas Gurner, who has a potential of 82. Kamara has a potential of 81. Neyu has a potential of 80. Definitely the best player in this career mode would be Adil Aucic, game face and a potential of 83. Nordan has a potential of 81. Yusuf has a potential of 82. And they also have two more real faces, those being Riyad Boudaboos. And striker Wabi Kazri. Now I'm sure you will agree that San Etienne do have a decent squad, but there is room for improvement. So the transfer suggestions are all French youngsters, including real face goalkeeper from PSG, Garrison Inessa. He is 20 years of age, he has an overall of 62, potential of only 73, but will go a lot higher, and in season number two, he'll cost you around 1 million. Alan Virginius from Sichua, he can play right wing or left wing, he's 17 years of age, 63 overall, potential of 81, available at the end of season one for around 1.5 million. Lucien Agume from Inter Milan, he's a midfielder, 18 years of age, 64 overall, potential of 82. In season 2, it'll cost you around 1.7 million. Janis Antiste from Toulouse, he's a striker, 17 years of age, 67 overall, potential of 82. At the end of season 1, it'll cost you around 2.5 million. One of my favourite real face gems is Enzo Leodis from Las Palmas. He's a central midfielder, 19 years of age, 67 overall, potential of 80. He's available in the first window if he has a release clause. Timothy Pembele from PSG. He can play right back or centre back. He's 17 years of age, 67 overall, potential of 83. Available in the first window for our 3 million. He's had an excellent breakout season for Stade de Rems, Nathaniel Mabuku, who can play right midfield, central attacking midfield, or right wing. He's 18 years of age, 68 overall, potential of 81, available in the first window for our 3 million. And the final transfer suggestion for a San Etienne career mode is Michael Elise from Reading. He's a central attacking midfielder, 18 years of age, 72 overall, potential of 85, available in the first transfer window for our 7 million. When doing a French career mode, I always set my youth academy scouts up pretty similar, and that is to send scout number one out to France, and the second scout out to a French-speaking African country like the Ivory Coast or Cameroon. Relegated to the championship last season, so why not do a mini road to glory with Bournemouth, who have a very healthy transfer budget of just under 30 million. So Bournemouth's default formation is 4-2-3-1 wide, and because of that relegation from the Premier League last season, their squad has plenty of players with a real face. Including all three goalkeepers, Asmir Begovic, Will Dennis, and Mark Travers. Left back Lloyd Kelly has a potential of 80. Back to the players with a real face, including Diego Rico with a 74 overall, Cameron Carter Vigas, who's on loan at Bournemouth from Spurs, Steve Cook with an overall of 74, Chris Meppham with an overall of 72, right back Jack Stacey with an overall of 73, also with an overall of 73 and a real face is right back Adam Smith. Career mode favourite Jefferson Lerma, overall of 75. Ophobor is on loan at Wickham. Real faces continue with wide midfielders Stanislas and Dan Juma. Former FIFA cover star Jack Wilshire also has a real face. Philip Billing also has a real face. Move him to central defensive midfield and he will get a boost in overall. Lewis Cook, overall of 75 and a real face. Rodrigo Riquelme on loan from Atletico Madrid, potential of 80. 
David Brooks, real face, overall of 76. Dominic Solanke, overall of 71. Shane Long on loan from Southampton with an overall of 73. And the final real face is Sam Surridge, striker, overall of 67. And given that Bournemouth have so many face scans, the transfer suggestions also follow that same pattern, including Jesus Ferreira from FC Dallas, who's a striker 19 years of age, 69 overall, potential of 81, available in the first transfer window for around 4 million. Jürgen Eklundkamp from Ajax, who's a central attacking midfielder, 20 years of age, 70 overall, potential of 80, available in the first window for around 4 million. Mamadou Laum from FC Porto, who's a central defensive midfielder, 23 years of age, 71 overall, potential of 80, available in the first transfer window for around 4.5 million. The final two are a little bit more expensive, including RL Mangala from Stuttgart. He's a central midfielder, 22 years of age, 75 overall, potential of 82, available in the first window for around 15 million. And finally, career mode legend Briel Mbolo from Borussia Mönchengladbach. He's a striker, 23 years of age, 77 overall, potential of 83, available in the first window for our 20 million. The Youth Academy recommendations for a Bournemouth career mode are pretty simple. Send your first two scouts out to England and one of the other home nations, then a third scout out to one of the other North European countries. And the final suggestion for this episode of Top Teams is the Europa League finalist, Villarreal. They have a very healthy transfer budget of just under 30 million. Their default formation is a traditional flat 4-4-2 and they have an excellent squad already, including quite a few with face scans. Including former career mode favourite goalkeeper, Geronimo Rulli, who has an overall of 80. The face scans continue with left backs Alfonso Pedraza and Juame Costa. They are well covered in the left pack position with Estupinan, who has a potential of 85, and Alberto Moreno, who has a face scan. The face scans continue with veteran centre back Raul Albiol, and the centre back with a potential of 86, Pau Torres. And the face scans continue with Argentina centre backs Funis Mori, and on loan from Tottenham Hotspur, Juan Foyt. Right back Ruben Penner with an overall of 80 also has a face scan, as does right back Mario Gaspar. Moving on to the midfielders, and Ibora has a face scan overall of 79. Jeremy has a potential of 84. Etienne Capu overall of 78 with a face scan, as does Francis Coquelin, overall of 80. Danny Pereo, overall of 85. Trigueros, overall of 79. Sadly, there is no face scan for one of Villarreal's best players with an 85 potential, Samuel Chukweze. Teenage right winger Alex Boehner has a potential of 81. And teenage striker Fer Nino has a potential of 82. Veteran striker Carlos Bacca has a face scan, as do his fellow strikers Paco Alcacer and Gerard Moreno. Now, with a squad as good as Villarreal's, I wouldn't be looking to make too many new signings. Instead, I would focus all my efforts on making one big marquee signing, and that could include someone like the Brazilian central attacking midfielder, still playing for Shanghai in China, Oscar, with an overall of 83, still only 28 years of age, and available in the first window for around 40 million. Or you could go for Croatia international Nikola Vlasic, central attacking midfielder, 22 years of age, 80 overall, potential of 86, available in the first window if he's not too important for the club, for around 35 million. Or you could go for Emmanuel Boating, formerly of Levante, now playing for Dalian in China, 24 years of age, 76 overall, potential of 83, available straight away, for around 18 million. Or you could spend all your budget on Angel Correa from Atletico Madrid, he's a striker or right midfielder, 25 years of age, 82 overall, all, available straight away for our 45 million. The Youth Academy recommendations for a Villarreal career mode is to send one of your scouts out to Spain and the other two scouts out to any of the South American countries. So if you were thinking of starting a new FIFA 21 career mode but you were unsure of what team to use, then you are welcome. But that does conclude today's video. All that remains to say is thank you so much for watching. Please remember to tune in next time. But until then, it's FCG out.